Hello, this is Dr. Morote, Elsa Sofia Morote. This is the second part of the video uh, trying to motivate you how to find a research topic for your dissertation or your research paper. So in the previous video, I was talking about my life experience when I was a doctoral student. And we were, I was mentioning you uh, that I was interested in economics of education. And I found this research paper that talks about um, economics of education and analyze the causality analysis of the link between higher education and economic development. And that we were talking about that I was fascinated for the article when I read it for the first time because what's something that I would like to do. I was thinking I want to do, I wanted to do. I wanted to do something with um, mathematical models, economics, and education. So this fits uh, perfectly what I wanted to do. I also was mentioning that we have 68 references in only one journal article. So I was already ready to go. I have references. I have literature review, things to read more about that, learn more about that. And also I'll subscribe to the journal. So this big, the, after some years, I find I did my dissertation in a similar topic, but I use remember my own exp expertise. I have expertise in Latin America. Uh, so and also I added new variables that were not included in the original article of uh, the the Mills, Mester and Rochette, uh, like in these cases an employ employment. I was thinking that employment could be one of the variables that have, that controls or modify uh, the effects of uh, higher education and economic growth. So this was my dissertation. This study explored the relationship between higher education and economic growth development in Latin American emerging markets. As you notice, I start focus using my own experience in the emerging markets. I'm also trying to use this model so I can actually explain why there is con this connection exists or do not exist. The purpose of this study was to test empirically the relationship between higher education and economic growth in the presence and absence of the third variable. In this case, it will be employment. The econometric methodology was based on a CAIKI minimum, a final prediction error criteria, and the Granger bivariate and trivariate council of causality. It wasn't the same technique of the original article. I just decided to use different technique with a Akaike and the Granger causality, but it was very closely related. Uh, and I tested in two periods, 1950 to 2000 and 70 to 2000. And that is because the history of those countries, there is a break on the history in the political and economic situation in the 50s and the 70s. So my dissertation was not only quantitative, but also have a section which is historical development. So I analyze in the, the historical situation, political and economic situation and employment situation during these periods to see exactly what was going on and why this relationship happened or do not happen in between those um, economic development and, and um, higher education. Let me just go back here. So that was my, uh, my dissertation. But the third model that you can do is you can do a replication. Um, replication is, is you find a research article that you like. Try to reapply. This is a, this is a good start for an be a researcher who is novice. Try to use the same technique, the same survey, and apply to a different population. That's an example. This is a way to start relating and understanding research. Um, for example, in the article that I like in the 1995 article about the causality link between higher education and economic development, I found articles who actually were doing validity and doing the same study in other countries. And I also found articles that were using different methodology. Let me just click here. And this is an example. This is the original ar article of Demos, Mester, and Rochette. Uh, this is one article I found 
that was higher education economic development in Iran and that article was then uh, published as well in this journal oh here it is coming just want to show you here it is economic business development uh, higher education economic development grow in Iran higher education development and economic growth in Iran so was also inspired in the same article and I also believe it or not when I was a student before writing my dissertation I wrote my first paper while being a doctoral student was higher education and economic growth in Latin America and emerging countries and that was my first article published in United States um, give me one second here so the article was higher education and economic growth in Latin America and emerging countries and uh, what I did in this short article was basically I used the same technique of of uh, Rochette and the most letter and apply it to different countries you know that was my first approach to uh, to my research interest so that's a uh, that was uh, very interesting for me because I start observing the weakness and the strength of this theory uh, and my last advice could be work in a research team project and not everybody have that option only if you actually work in a university or you are a research assistant or you help somebody or work with participate with one professor and write a research paper together that helps you to to shape your knowledge in writing research articles and of course then you that will be translated to write it at your dissertation uh, my experience in working in a team project was actually after getting my degree after I got my degree uh, um, I got a job in MIT Massachusetts Institute of Technology where I work in a research team in a department in the department of physics which was research in learning assessing and tutoring effectively and if you click here this is the website of the of that um, department and what they were doing in that time they were doing they were creating a software to teach physics and my job was doing the uh, statistical analysis of the software and created some models of that if you see here if you go to this website you can see all my work here research conference proceedings all my work that I did during the years of 2002 2001 to 2003 that I was working uh, as a researcher on this uh, project so you can see several articles that I work on everything about software my I really like technology so it was a very good match for me because one of my passions besides economic development was is also technology so in, to summarize this um, when you start thinking about your research you need to think about a the research of the problem you need to think about your research skills that will be grow during the doctoral program it's important to have a very good committee when you are about to have the dissertation your content analysts every, everybody have to work together your committee you have to think about your career plans what do you want to do after you graduate because based on that you will choose the topic as well because you will be, become the expert on specific area your time available you know when you decided what kind of research you also have to decide how long you plan to do this research and how much money and time you have to do it you have time to do it and of course you have to find uh, um, access to the research site uh, some of the research can be excellent, your research probably to review and everything, but then you don't have access to do the research. Uh, that would be a very bad news for you. So one of my advices, once you start creating all these ideas of what you would like to do, you at the same time you start investigating if you will have an access to any site that you plan to do the research, because if not, you cannot do it. It could be beautiful, but it doesn't matter. 
Uh, with that advice, my advice would be just write it. Once you have the idea, you have to write um, and you have to mitigate the risk of writing. Now, listen to me. You can hear it that I have an accent. I came to the United States in 1995 with no English. So when I was uh, working in my dissertation, English was my second language, was very limited. I was scared, but I was trusting that I have critical thinking. I mean, I couldn't speak English, but I know what I want. I can think, I can analyze. So I covered my other skills with my lack of English um, language, especially writing English. I took some English writing courses and I spent tons of hours with tutors, but tons of hours. I developed that ability to read any article, analyze it, and also I find any single mistake. And you can see in when I correct papers, even the periods, you know, when you're missing a period, you're missing this, you're missing that, because I have spent hours with tutors, so I think that was uh, one of the good things, not uh, speaking English, because I can't uh, I didn't have any option. Uh, is writing risky? Of course it's risky. I mean, sometimes I, ha I still have mistakes, you know, I still have uh, articles mistakes, you know, when I use on, in, at, you know, these things. Um, but I have to trust on, me, on myself, I have to trust on my colleagues, and um, if I don't have, uh, if I have so many articles published, it's because once I finish writing my article, I do pay an editor. I still pay an editor. It's like if you, if you need to read, if suppose you can, you cannot read because your eyes are not, your eyesight is not good. Then what you do? You use glasses, right? That doesn't make you less smart or more smart. You use using something that you need. So it's the same thing is you feel you cannot write well. A, of course you study, you learn as much as you can, but you also can pay an editor, somebody who can go and you know do a little cleaning of your paper. The editor will clean the structure, will clean other things, you know, but the critical thinking and the person who is creating the research is you. So don't be afraid of asking for help. Trust in your colleagues. Don't be afraid somebody laugh at your writing. Imagine me. Imagine how many people can be laugh at my writing. I even scared of writing. I was scared, not anymore, because I said whatever. You know, this is this is who I am, and I spent a lot of money in er in editors, and I still spend it every every year a little less than the year before. But I have to admit that English is my second language. I have to live with that. Um, I learned English when I was older. I wish I can learn it when I was a little girl, but older. So there are several things that I have to deal every day, like you can deal with other situations. Uh, every piece of work is an evidence about the caliber of a researcher. So when you go to a discussion board, when you go to a blog, be aware that people are reading. Be aware that people are seeing you as the way you write. So take your time, write a little separated, check that you have your grammar well, everything before you actually post it. This is a, uh, this is a strong uh, competitive um, career that you're choosing. Uh, now there is, a, there is a risk, and this is funny risk. There can be a risk that you say, oh my God, I am unable to write. Well, you're not unable to think. That's the reason you want to be a doctor. So I don't think that will be a problem. You, if you are here sitting and thinking, I want to be a doctor, is because you trust on yourself. So t use that trust to learn more. Okay? And don't worry about people, what people think about you. Uh, recommendations. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to be criticized. Uh, try to look your past success, call your friends, call your friends, try to look support. And believe me, the more you write, the greater your ability to distinguish good writing from bad writing. So go for it. Okay, have a nice day and I'm looking forward 
to learn what is your research. Bye-bye.